Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm out here in the Yukon doing some missions. I've been doing them lately for quite a while and I actually had a lot of fun doing them. I already, already finished all missions in the Mississippi Valley and right now I have something pretty darn awesome hiding behind this tree. If I can get a spot on I can tell you more about it. He should be somewhere right over there. Can you see? <laughs> I have level 5 almost guaranteed diamond caribou. This guy looks to be a monster. He's on the max weight and max score estimate too. So I'm gonna slowly sneak up on him, circle around, and I want to take him down with the bow. As you know, that is <laughs> the tradition with mine and my hunting skills. I really want to take him down very close range to have a good look at him. And now while I'm slowly going around, let me say that the Steam's autumn sale just went live and our virtual ready hunting simulator Virtual Hunter is also on discount on the platform. So if you have a PC VR and you want to go on a virtual reality hunting, now is a great time to pick the game up. The game is in early access featuring a big open world map with five huntable species with different rare types and trophies for each and every one of them. We have animal taxidermy and trophy lot system where you can freely place your trophies all ar around the lots. We have full body mounts, wall mounts and ceiling mounts for the pheasants. Each type has several different trophy poses you can choose. So you have full freedom to place your trophies around the lots. And the game really focuses on the hunting and the hunting mechanics. The animals have full senses and you really have to pay attention to the wind and the noise that you're making because the animals do not wait around on the fields to be shot. They are living and breathing in the map. They have their own schedule that they're gonna follow. And you as a player, it's all about the player presence and you have to keep and try to actually hunt the animals. Different hunting strategies also work in the game. You can hop in any of the stands. You can use an ambush hunting with callers or you can pick direction and see what you will find. You get a fresh spawn of animals in every hunt, so you actually never know what you are gonna find. So if you want to hop on some virtual reality hunting and hunting simulator, now is a great time to pick Virtual Hunter up since it's on discount in the Steam Autumn Sale. I have all the links down in the description if you want to check it out and share it with your friends who might be interested. But now, Let's get back to hunting this caribou. There he is. He is 85 meters away. See if I can get myself hidden in this bush. See if I can call him to come in. This is a really good looking spot. There's a lot of open ground here, so he shouldn't be too hard to get here. I can see him there. He's an alert. Wait, what? <laughs> Let me remove this waypoint so I can actually see him. He's in alert mode. That can't be from me because I have snuck here. The wind is great. I have sent eliminator. There has to be walls around. See, this one is also... Okay, I saw the level 5 run away. But these guys are also alert, so... I haven't seen or heard any walls. I haven't found any tracks. So I'm not really sure what is going on here. Maybe they are somewhere around. You can do hash wolves. Dang it. Okay, let me see if I can call them since that one went to calm. Can I call them back in? <laughs> this happens every single time. I sneak really carefully to get into position and then something spooks the animals if there are predators around. So this means I now have to take my time and either I'm gonna wait here for a moment or I'm just gonna go straight after them. I really saw the level 5 run away, so he is not gonna come back. So I really doubt it's any beneficial for me to stay in this bush. I don't see any wolves. This whole time that I've been hunting around, I haven't seen any single sign for a wolf. But I know they're in this area. And the only reason I'm doing the Yukon is because my map somehow reset itself. So I have to reopen the whole map. So I'm just going through the motions here. But okay. I'm gonna start closing and see if I can actually find this guy again. 
So here I have the tracks for the herd. I don't think they have got... Okay, I think that should be the herd. So they just moved further away. So that means I have to again do some sneaking. The wind is slowly turning bad for me, so I have to really go and, cir and circle from the right, so the wind doesn't go bad. So I am getting closer. I am 100% sure that's the guy right behind the tree. This bush is nicely covering me again, so I have great view. So there is, these guys are calm. And this one too. I can't spot the level 5 because he's behind the tree. There's another male right there. But at least the female are all calm, so I should be able to call them. I really hope this works out, otherwise I have to start... Otherwise I have to go prone and start getting closer really slow. They don't seem to really react to the calls at all. Even though they're calm. Somehow this one got up. I can't spot it because this one is lying right in front of it. Come on now. <laughs> don't make me do this the hard way. Okay. I don't see any of them move. Like even though they're calm. They don't care. <laughs> the eating is way more important for these guys. Okay. Yes, I have to do this the hard way. <laughs> it would have been way too easy to have them just come to the call, but... Crawling? Here I come. 85 meters is not too bad. So I'm getting really close. There he is. Oh, look at him, but he's nervous. So he wouldn't have come to the call anyway. So that's actually a blessing that the caller didn't work. And I can't get this waypoint any closer to him. I have to manage with this. Look at this guy, he's 55 meters away. I'm gonna get to like 40. So I have a really reliable shot on him. And then I'll be back. So I am now like 42 meters away from me. I can see the massive antlers through there so this should be a good oh no um gonna remove this waypoint so i can actually spot him okay so he should be 42 meters so it's not too hard so lift him head yes <laughs> straight down from 40 meters with a bow <laughs> That guy is massive. I don't have a diamond carry bow. I think the last one that I shot it was level 5 and it trolled me hard. So, But I really don't think that this guy is going to troll me. He's huge. And I'm so happy I got to take him down with the bow. <laughs> I could have taken him down with the rifle already earlier. But why would I bother doing that when I can be a bowman and take him down with, the, with an arrow? Because that's the one that's a part of the game that I enjoy. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's huge. Definitely the biggest carry bow I've ever seen. Stomp on this grass so we can see him a bit better. That is massive. Gonna take some trophy shots of him. That is absolutely fantastic looking carry bow. I'm gonna feel bad if he's gonna troll. Alright. Let's pick him up. One, two. He's a diamond. 451.55. I think 452 is the max score. And he's max weight. This guy is as big as he get. Look at the shot. Double lung liver. Perfect 42 meter shot. Holy crap, man. Look at this. Max weight. 0.45 away from max core too. That is as big as they are gonna get. Holy crap. <laughs> 
Call of the Wild really wants me to come back to play it, right? <laughs> Man. What a trophy. Absolute monster caribou. Now I can make a video and title it Monster Caribou with a bow and it's not gonna be a clickbait. <laughs> Let's go to the lodge. So here I have some really tiny ones. I don't even remember half of the stuff that I have here. But look at this guy. He's really weird poses, this first one. Let me find a proper pose and I'll be back. So I'm thinking some of these is supposed to be good. I think I'm gonna like that. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna find him a proper spot, but this is this I have to do now. Somehow the antlers look way smaller here in the lodge than they did when he was on the ground. Look at it, it looks... <laughs> I think they look really small here, <laughs> to be honest. But he's still a fantastic trophy. I don't think I'm ever gonna shoot a bigger caribou in the game. Ever. That would be way too lucky to do so. So, that is my adventures with the massive monster caribou with a bow. I'm just doing the missions on the maps currently and I'm gonna make videos if I find something interesting while I'm doing so. Actually, the missions have been really fun so far. I've been wondering what I could do in the game that could get me back more hype about it. And the missions in the maps have been doing that. It's really casual fun. And now that the new map, the new England, is coming out with the backfilling animals on the old maps. And also the great one moves. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun time, honestly. And the new map, maybe not exciting on the animal part since they are all existing animals. But... The map itself looks pretty cool. It looks like Hirschfelden and Leighton had a baby. Like you you have Hirschfelden environment with Leighton animals. So and I'm especially loving Hirschfelden because of the beeves. So I think I'm gonna enjoy that pretty darn much. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and as always, have fun, happy hunting, and I see you on the next one. Bye bye.